What's good, fellas? Welcome to this presentation. The topic for today is seduce her by creating a seductive vibe. All right. Seduction. Seduction. Right. This is your ability to attract someone, you know, be compelling, be alluring, be magnetic. OK. Interesting. It's like a high level of interest. Very interesting. Right. But then now we're talking about women. So there's also this the sexuality involved, but it's really just drawing someone's attention and it's a feeling. OK, it's not you trying to convince anyone of anything. You're creating a feeling. So now we're talking about a seductive vibe. Your vibe is basically the energy that people feel around you. What is what do they feel when they get around you? Now, when a woman gets around you, you want her to be in a seductive vibe, meaning you want her to be magnet, right? You want to be magnetizing or um, attracting her, alluring her in your direction, right? But you want to do it in a way where it's like, how, you know, it doesn't look like you're trying, right? So how do you do this? It's by having an understanding of what you're doing, an understanding of how the game is played, okay? Mystery gave us this model. This is what I use, man. I don't go around telling people what I'm doing, but I'm you in my mind when I'm interacting with the woman. I have this understanding. Attraction, comfort, seduction. Okay? When I'm communicating to a woman, the first thing is I want her to be attracted. What does that mean? I want her to be interested. How does how does someone get interested in you? By you demonstrating value that they seek. Simple. I need to demonstrate value that she sees. Now, I play nature's game. I want to demonstrate the value that her biology seeks, the thing that she does not have control over, okay? To me, all that is is me being a masculine man but being grounded and demonstrating my intelligence. So I need to be calibrated. I need to communicate that I'm a masculine man on this purpose. I'm grounded and I'm intelligent. I'm not going to violate the environment. I'm not going to violate her. I know how to communicate. I know how to create a great experience, a fun, positive experience. Once we hit that level, then it's comfort. I need to show her I'm not a threat, okay? I need to, you know, communicate in a way where she can see, oh, this is a cool guy, you know? Me, I know I look a certain way. I look kind of aggressive or whatever. So when I'm talking to a girl, I don't need to communicate in a very aggressive way. I can chill out. I can say, hey, I was just hanging out with my mom the other day. That's calibration. She needs to see like, yo, this is not like a crazy killer or anything like that. He was hanging out with his mom the other day, right? Yeah, I was hanging out with my mom the other day. I was helping her cook or whatever. I could say that because I'm calibrating it based on my archetype. You got to know who you are. How do you look? If you already look kind of aggressive or whatever, you need to calibrate it so she can be comfortable. She doesn't feel like, okay, this guy might be a, a killer or something, right? So you need to calibrate your communication. Now, if you look nice you look positive you need to be a little more aggressive you need to have that edge right you need to show okay yo i got that bad boy side too i'm not just a nice fluffy guy right that's the seduction right you i'm reading this book right now it's called um it's right here mortal instruments mortal instruments book one and it's a female lead and even in the book <laughs> Even in a book, you see the nice guy gets looked over because the book is about a, a, a girl, a 15 year old girl who her mom was like some type of like some magical being. Right. Her mom had like some uh, I, I don't want to say basically, let's say it's like a fantasy book. Right. So her mom was like had some magical power or something. And I guess the girl had it, too. But her mom wanted to hide her away from that world. She wanted her daughter to have a normal life. But then her mom gets kidnapped and then she finds out, you know, by meeting some new people, she finds out that her mom had this past life and she was trying to hide her from it and blah, 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 blah. Now, this 15 year old girl, she has a friend. Her best friend is a guy. OK. And of course, typical story, a guy in the friend zone. Now, as she goes through the story, I'm not finished with it, but I got to a certain part. She meets some guy, um, you know, who is affiliated with what her mom used to do so he's called a shadow hunter i guess he kills demons and stuff like that now that guy he's seductive man he has that bad boy element but he's calibrated he knows how to lead he knows how to make people feel comfortable but he still knows how to push things right he knows how to tease the girl 
He knows how to, you know, not be attached to the outcome. He knows how to um, break rapport, right? He basically knows how to express himself authentically with no filter. Now, her friend is always trying to be the friend, always trying to, you know. So then as the story goes along, the friend knew her for years and, and nothing ever happened. Nothing romantic ever happened. This guy, the bad boy, shows up. And like within like, a, I don't know if it's a few days or a few weeks, they're already making out. And then the friend, then the friend sees it and then he like, his heart is broken and then he leaves. Like that's where I'm at right now. So I don't, I don't know what happens next. But the point I'm making is being a nice guy, being the friend, being just being an average dude, that shit does not work. You need to become seductive. Okay. You need to become attractive and you need to communicate in a way that creates um, a vibe, a seductive vibe, a vibe, a feeling that women want to be around. Okay. So a lot of it is understanding female psychology. Okay. Understanding what are they seeking? Female energy is she's looking for a man that's demonstrating masculine characteristics, but he also needs to demonstrate that he's somehow winning. How does he demonstrate that through the feeling that she feels? If she can feel good around this guy, then that's all she's going to go off of. She's going off of how she feels. It doesn't matter what you say, what you do. She's going off of how do you make her feel, right? If she's around you and she feels excited and she has butterflies and she feels good and, and shit like that, she's going to want to be around you consistently. Now, how do you do that? You stay in your masculine energy. You stay grounded. You constantly grow, constantly raise your vibration, your frequency. This energy, she's feeling your energy, right? So if your energy dips, she can tell. She can feel that. She can feel, okay, this dude is starting to lose. It's going on a decline. That's when they start, you know, nagging at you, testing you, shit like that, because they're trying to break up the relationship so they can leave because they can feel the energy changing. That's what we need to understand as men. These girls are feeling out the energy. That's the, that's the game we're playing. It's a game of feeling, right? That's why it may not make sense to you because you're trying to understand it logically. She's going off a of feeling. So you just want to become seductive, brother. You want to become a man that's real good at creating vibes, real good at creating feelings, right? That women want to feel. And it starts with you creating a feeling that you want to feel because a lot of the feelings that women want to feel are the same feelings we want to feel. We want to feel joy. We want to feel peace, right? We want to feel confident. We want to feel love, um, gratitude, um, you know, safe, secure. These feelings you need to become, you need to learn how to harness these feelings. You need to learn how to play emotions. You need to learn how to use emotions. You need to become like a master emotional communicator, a master of emotional communication. How can you communicate in a way that moves people, that makes people react? Okay. And, and being seductive, that's all that is. You know, some people, they, they see seduction as like a bad thing. Yeah, because it can be used in a bad way, but you're not using it in a bad way. Women want to be seduced. They want to feel good. Like pretty much everything they do in their life is to feel good. So if you can show up and make her feel good, she's going to want to be around you. But in order to make someone feel good, what do you have to do? You have to get outside of yourself. You have to make sure you feel good and then you go out and you spread that energy. That's how you get a woman, right? When I go out and pick up women, all I literally do is I get myself in a, in a powerful state. That's why I have my morning routine. I have my day. I live a sharp day. I live a day that I'm proud of. So I feel good. Then when I go out and approach women, all I got to do is transfer that energy. Right? Now you have to do the basics. You have to be groomed. You have to smell good. You have to look decent. Right? You don't have to be pretty. Stop trying to be pretty. You need to be manly, masculine. That's what we go for. Okay? It's, you know, pretty boy is a pretty boy. It's either you got it or you don't. If you're not a pretty boy, then don't try to be that. That's dead. Just be attractive. Be masculine. Be confident, right? If you're not confident, develop your confidence. I was not always confident. How did I develop confidence? By challenging myself, by challenging my beliefs, by facing the truth, 
by breaking out of my illusions, out of my false perceptions of things, breaking out of my little closed-minded box and expanding. So what happens? My energy increases. My vibe changes. My vibe improves. I become more intelligent. I become better able to communicate, better able to express myself, better able to calibrate my communication so I don't violate the environment or anyone I'm speaking to. So you want to create a seductive vibe, right? When you invite a girl over to your place, what is the vibe, man? What is she going to feel? Is it going to be awkward? Is she going to feel like, oh, you're just trying to have sex with her the whole time? Or is it going to feel like she's in the presence of a grounded masculine man with an abundant mentality who loves himself, who's secure, who doesn't need anyone, who's detached from the outcome, who just wants to have a great time and is also willing to walk away. What kind of vibe do you think that's going to create? That's going to create a seductive vibe versus the guy that's like it's stuck in his head the whole time. Oh man, how am I going to get her? How am I going to kiss her? How am I going to get, uh, what should I do next? Uh, how am I going to get her in the bedroom? Bro, it's the guy who's not worrying about that. That's the guy who gets the girl, man. It's the guy who doesn't care. The guy who does not give a fuck. You have to become that guy. That's a seductive vibe. But it's, you're not stupid, though. Like, you don't give a fuck, but you're still going to lead. You see what I'm saying? It's like a childlike spirit. Like, children, it's like, man, you could learn a lot from kids, man. They know how to create a vibe right like they can be they can have no toys no nothing but they'll figure out how to make a, a fun vibe they'll find a stick to play with or they'll they'll ask you some interesting questions or the, you know what i mean kids know how to create a vibe bro and we can do the same thing we have the same imagination the same power but now all we got to do is add some maturity to it right so we can't be chaotic with it we can tap into our imagination and create a fantasy world where we enjoy living our life and we, we've created a life that we love living. But we also add maturity to it, meaning we have discipline, right? We have focus. We apply intelligence. We value intelligence over emotions, things like that, so that it's not chaotic. Though female nature, her energy is chaos. Female energy is chaotic energy. In order for the dynamics to be proper, we need to bring the order to her chaos. Once you demonstrate you can bring the order to her chaos and lead her in the direction she wants to go, that's when she will follow. There is a certain experience in life that she wants to feel. Your seduction is to get her to have that experience and feel those emotions she wants to feel. And a lot of times, if you're on your purpose doing your thing, you will attract women who are aligned with your purpose, aligned with what you're doing. So all you got to do is just keep going after your purpose and just bring them along for the ride and understand female psychology understand what the dynamic is you're supposed to bring the order to her chaos you're not supposed to get chaotic with her guys mess up when the girl gets emotional they get emotional too and now they're arguing and blah, 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 blah. and then all of a sudden the energy shifts and the girl ends up in a masculine role and you end up in a feminine role and then that's when things just start crumbling so you want to become seductive brother you want to become the most seductive man in her life. You want to become, you want to create the best vibe, right? When she has to think, when she gets some time and she's thinking, oh, what should I do? You want her to think right away, you. But how is she going to think you? The feeling, she's thinking about how is she going to feel. Whoever she spends time with is a person who she feels, uh, she gets the best feeling from or like the ideal feeling from, right? So for example, that's why you need attraction, comfort, and seduction. Because you can create attraction, you can create good vibes and stuff like that, but if the girl's not comfortable, she's not gonna wanna spend time with you. She has to be she has to be turned on and stuff like that, but she also has to be comfortable. And then if you're just comfort, like she's just comfortable around you, but you don't know how to create that attraction and that seduction, then you're just a friend. You're just someone who like she can just spend time with until that hot guy hits her up and she's like, Okay, thank you, have a great day, and then she goes and hangs out with him. So you want to have that attraction, that comfort, and that seduction, man. You got to be able to get her attention. You know, you got to understand, look, <clears throat> that's why, you know, having a purpose, knowing what you're doing, having goals, having a vision, 
having some craft that you're mastering is important because there's women who are seeking that value, right? If it's something big, if it's something beneficial to others, there are women that are going to seek that value. And all you got to do is show up and lead. That's, a, that's, you know, to me, that's a path that pretty much any man can take, right? I could teach you how to go out and approach women and stuff like that, but not every man is really going to have what it takes to do that. But every man can find his purpose, find what he's good at, find his craft, find his gift, and master that and bring up his value very high and, and then get put it out into the world. And women will see it. Women will orbit. And then all you got to do is just don't be a little girl, man. Just be a man. Be masculine. Lead. Be grounded in your masculinity. And certain women will follow you. They will follow you because they want to be around your energy. Because you can contain their feminine energy. They're looking for a man who is grounded, who can contain their feminine energy. Not a man that's going to get feminine with them. Right? They already have their girlfriends for that. So look, fellas. You want to become a seductive man. Right? Look up the word seduction. You want to become the kind of man that compels people to want to come towards him. That draws people in. You don't want to repel people. You want to attract them. Right? Right? You want to, there's another word I'm looking for here. Allure. You want to be alluring. Okay? And you do that by having value. Right? If you show up with no value, nobody has time for you. Nobody has time for you. Nobody's going to waste their time with you. Somebody spends their time with you. Do you realize how valuable that is? When somebody spends their time with you, they're saying that you're, that you're, uh, their most precious thing that they have, most limited resources and most valuable resource they have, which is their time, they're willing to spend it with you, right? You want to become the kind of guy that people want to spend their most limited resource with, their time, and you become that, becoming a man of value. People need to benefit when they're in, their, in your presence. If they're not benefiting, they're going to go elsewhere. And you will see this. Once you focus, you start focusing on becoming valuable, Becoming the most attractive version of yourself, working on your communication, working on your gift. What is it? What is it that you have that makes you uh, stand out from the rest? What makes you unique? What are your talents? Whatever those in, and amplify it. Bring it up to a high level, right? If you're good at something, bring it up to a level where it's just on a god god level, god mode level. You're not gonna have a problem getting women if your if your value is that high, right? Because, I mean, we, we, should, we should understand this by now. Women are trying to get the best man they can get. So you just need to become the best one of the best men that women can get. And then find your niche, right? Because you're not going to be for every girl. But you want to find a niche where you can shine. Right? Find a niche where you can shine. So look, if you're watching this and you like the idea of becoming the most attractive version of yourself, becoming, uh, learning how to make women feel more comfortable around you, becoming more seductive, becoming more powerful as a man, right? Being able to get the results you want in your life, okay? I have two programs. I have a group coaching program that I'm launching in April. You can get it now. Or I have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program where we can work together. It really depends how serious you are about your goals. If you're really serious about your goals, I recommend we work together one-on-one, -on -one, right? Because we're going to be doing weekly calls, jump on a call each week. We're focused in on one goal, one specific goal that you really want to achieve. And I'm going to help you achieve that goal by holding you accountable, giving you um, guidance, and then also you sharing, you know, what you're doing, me holding you accountable as far as like, okay, this is what you need to do. Did it work? Did it not work? Okay, we reassess. Then we go again next week. And we just keep staying focused, confident, and disciplined on one goal. Okay? And working together, I guarantee you will see a much faster, rapid improvement or movement towards your goal than you would on your own. That's 110%, okay? Because we're working together, all right? Making sure you achieve that goal, whether it's with women, whether it's with business, whatever it is. That's one option, and that's 997, okay? It's a three-month program, 997. The other option is a group coaching program, okay? I'm rolling it out in April, the beginning of April, so April 1st, right? It's next week, okay? But you can sign up now, okay? 
the people who sign up now, they're going to get in for 47. It's a $47 per month program, right? It's called the Elite Beast Cave. Beast Cave. Okay, in that it's a group coaching program. So there's gonna be guys in there who are also interested in improving themselves, hitting their goals. All right, we're gonna have a weekly group coaching call. I'm gonna be putting exclusive content in there. We're gonna lock in on your goals. You tell me what your goals are. I'm gonna be putting content specific towards your goals to help you achieve your goals. And this is a elite circle, man. So we're gonna be like a, a close, like brothers. Okay, brothers working together to achieve our purpose in this lifetime. All right, so if you're interested in any of the programs, hit me up. I'll give you more details. Thanks for watching. Peace.